So let's go ahead and add our first product now. In the Products tab, click Add New. In the first field, you need to add the name of your product, for instance, Red Sneakers. The second field is a Description field, and uh, you need to add the full description for your product. Go ahead and uh, add a description to your products. I will just add some uh, random words here in my product description. Once you added the description, select the product category from the product categories tab. In my case, that's a shoes. Scroll down to product data and just add the regular price and if you want a sale price as well. In the second inventory tab, if you wish to manage the stock, you can either uh, enable stock management and WooCommerce will manage the stocks for you. In this case, I want to enable stock management and I want to say WooCommerce that I have 10 of these products. So once I sell all of the 10 products, uh, the WooCommerce will simply show out of stock for this particular product. Other tabs are not uh, relevant right now since I'm adding a simple product. Next, we're going to add a variable product. But first, let's upload the product image. So just click here and choose a main image for your product. So in my case, I would just like to add a uh, shoes like this, for instance. It really does not matter. And click set product image once you're done. Besides main image, there is also product gallery and click add pr gallery image and choose images that which you want to add. Click add to gallery once you're done. I now realize that I have wrote here red, red sneakers and this will be a good practice to show you how you can even uh, edit the title and also the link for your product by editing here. Let's edit it here now, navy and navy. Now that we added the product description, we added the price, we added the category, main image, gallery image, and we also put uh, the stock. Let's now add a short product description. Let me just quickly show you the difference between the description here and the short description. As you can see, short description will appear here above the fold. So basically it will give the important product information right away, whereas the normal description we first added will appear below the fold depending always on the team you're using but it uh, should give a bit more in-depth information about the product you're selling let's now add a short description and when you add the product short description click publish here so just click publish and you will see notification here that the product has been added let's now add one more product for instance led sneakers the process is the same. You can, of course, add the description. Let me add a product description. Again, we can add the price, $59.99. In the inventory tab, I will not uh, add the inventory for this product at all. But now, let's add the variable product. In the product data, choose a variable product. So, just let me pause this a little bit. So, we'll have the LED sneakers in different colors and different sizes. So I will show you how to add that uh, everything in one under one product so that you, your customers can easily find their uh, color and uh, their perfect size. So click on the variable product and go to attributes. Under attributes, just click add. In the name field, let's add size and separate each and every value you add with the, diff with the pipeline here. So it has to be a pipeline, otherwise it won't be loaded. So 7, pipeline, 8, pipeline, 9, 10, 11, and that's perfect. Ma make sure to mark here used for variations and click save attributes. Let's now go ahead and add one more uh, variation by clicking add here. So let's add color, mark used for variations, and let's add black, pipeline, red, pipeline and white click save attributes now go to variations and in variation field select create variations from all the attributes and select go make sure to confirm this if you get this warning it will it depends on your browser and now WooCommerce will automatically create 15 different types of products for us you can see here, uh, you can just click on it. And one thing to mention is that variation price needs to be set for each variation and everything else is optional. So 
here let's add variation price for the black shoe number 7 49.99 and let's add the prices for all of the other variations i will just speed this a little bit you can also add the photo for each of these variations so click save changes when you add the prices for all for instance you can do it one by one or you can add price like this and then add photos so expand once again click on this and let's add the black image i will now find the black one from my list here and just select it choose set product image so that's basically it now go ahead and play around with variations you can add uh, information and uh, different ways and everything once you're done make sure to click save but in variation tab just in case so when you do that just click save in variation tab and then publish the product here now let's preview our product see how it looks actually so just click preview And there you have it. You now see that we have different size and colors. So customers can, and you, we also have a product description and this fantastic um, header bar, which will show our product. So you also see that on our homepage, we now have uh, shops by category. So when you add a particular product to a category, that category will be featured on the homepage of our team. When there is no category category won't be featured and you can see now that we have these products that we added let's go ahead and add few more products i'll now speed this process but you know the drill so repeat and add as many products as you'd like okay when you add your final product let's now preview our home page and as you can see it now looks absolutely amazing we have so many products the Storefront team will feature categories here for us, add products, display which products are for sale. Customers can sort them by popularity, but let's go ahead and change uh, one thing here. As you can see on the homepage, we still have this generic title. So let's go ahead and change it. Just click edit page on the top or click edit this section on the side. Both do the same thing. Now add a description for your shop to welcome your visitors and tell them what your store is about. And uh, below I'll add some little text about my own store. So let's be, we specialize in selling blah blah blah, dummy products and that's it. When you're done with changes, make sure to click update in order to save these changes i will talk about uh, customizing the appearance of our website in another video but now when we are here on the home page i would like to show you two very quick tips to customize the store go to site identity here and choose site title in my case that's my store name butoshi and in the tagline you can see here uh, you can see that below the site title You'll have the tagline and I will just write the imaginary online store selling fairy dust. So now that I'd add, I added a tagline, I would like to add the site icon. Click select image and I'll show you in a minute uh, where you can see the site icon. Uh, your site icon should be uh, 512 to 512. Choose, I will just now add the random icon, but you can add whichever you wish or you can have your website logo in that size. Just select the image, crop to, and that's basically it. You'll see here uh, how your website will look in a preview. That's amazing. You see that once we save the changes, your website, uh, your website visitors can distinguish your website a little bit better by viewing this um, site icon. That's it for now. I will see you in the next video when I will show you how to add your own contact form. And after that, we'll customize our store a little bit more.